touch designer tutorial section. So for today's works, I'm going to create a very simple video mosaic effect that was very, very popular by the time I was still a student using Macomai Director to create such kind of effect. And that's what popular. There's actually quite a lot of demand from, from media artists to create or to generate images out of this uh, production and for today I'm trying to recreate it using touch designer okay to start with as I mentioned it's a video mosaic so I'm going to use the video of my own cell that is the video device in I flip it with the mirror image hello 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 then send it to a now top for processing and at that as I mentioned we're going to do a mosaic and that's why we need to have a grid of a number of cells so I designed for demonstration I just use 10 by 10 that's 100 grid for the demonstration so in such a case I need to have the grid from the SOP and the way I'm going to do is actually using the geometry instancing in order to create this effect. So I change the grid with the dimension of the video, 16 by 9, and also 10 rows, 10 columns. I put it in a node. Position so that will determine the position of each of the video clips around there. And each of the video actually will be contained in our tangle again using the same dimension 16 by 9 as the expert ratio. And at the same time, I need to do a transform to reduce its size before I put it back into uh, geometry and then I can also use the light and camera as usual for all 3D rendering with the top the render top and then finally go back to our output window and to render the video I need a uh, material I use the default phone one with the white diffuse color and that will set as the material and for the material if you just want to see the video image you can just copy your video image into the color map so that you will have the video image of myself and as usual I prefer to have the perform window in full screen and without border so that would be something like this okay so that's we haven't started to do the mosaic yet and at the same time I can also change my camera projection from perspective to orthographics as I'm not doing any Z dimension. Okay, and now we're ready to start with our geometry instancing. Okay, we can turn on our instancing. The first will be the arrangement of the X and Y direction, which is determined by the position of the grid. That is the position here. So I drag this to the translation op and then change the translate X to P0, that is X direction. And then that one will be P1 for Y. And, uh, 
exact P2 that you can do it optionally because there's already be uh, zero at this moment and the result will be something like this it's more or less like correct except that we haven't reduced the size of our original rectangle so in such a case that you can decide how much to reduce so I can test with open one to see if it fit the screen or not 10 by 10 open one is supposed to be the good solution so now it is done you have the identical copy of myself in this uh, video mosaic bullet okay so the original design is a little bit different because we also need to tint each of the grid around here because uh, at this moment is using the white color as the tints that you kind of uh, recover the original color of the video and if you want to have the illusion that the bigger image has some sort of cell similarity with the smaller image so we might want to thin each of the cell according to the pixel that we obtain from that particular location so what we would like to do with this one is we can create a smaller size of my image with a resolution top so this one I can send it here with this one I can do a custom resolution for just 10 by 10 that is 100 pixel and then using the resolution for the aspect ratio using the nearest pixel so that will be like your compressed image but with correct uh, pixel color obtained from each of the cell and with this one you can use this to change the color of each of the instance of the geometry so I connect it with another now and we name it as color okay with this one in the geometry instance in the second column we have something called color op so we drag this to color op and change the RGB with the corresponding RG and so for the alpha I'm not going to change because this always be one in our case so now we complete this uh, old effect of video mode setting that each one of the cell come with a color team that corresponding the, the pixel color of that uh, physical area so that you can also see okay and for the latest version I would like to add a little bit more compared with the previous work so what I would like to do is I try to play around with the geometry the, the instancing and but with the use of texture and in Mac OS actually the texture instancing is not fully supported but we can still figure out some way to play around with this one so for this one I am going to replace this texture by a texture 3D top so instead of using this I send it to the texture 3D and for the texture 3D I also change the cache size to 100 to include different uh, texture images for each of the cell so 
so there will be 100 copy of this in the graphic storage so the original texture is no one that is the whole image so instead of using this one I remove this and it get back to the white so it's still quite good looking in a sense you have this kind of ultra lowest of my own image and then I drag this one to the color map as the texture so you do not change anything in the uh, texture instancing you still get the latest copy of my image around here okay and to play with this one so we try to look for another area so that area will be like around here so we can scroll down a little bit so there will be a oh actually this is here the texture coordinate is around here so we can make use of this uh, up and then tries to change the parameter and what I would like to do here at this moment is I create a ramp and then use a linear ramp to change the W so W seems to be like the indexing into the different images in the texture feed the content so I will use a ramp from the pattern chart and then I change the normal sine wave to ramp so it start from 0 to 1 and at the same time I reduce the length to just 100 because we only have 100 cells in the grid and also 100 copies of this texture instance and with this one I put a node around here and I can also rename it as texture okay and then I drag this one to the texture up and with this texture up I open up the W index to choose the channel 1 with picking up the different images from the texture 3D content so the overall effect will be like save my file this so you will see that the latest image was supposed to be the top left image whereas the, the, the oldest one will go down the diagonal line in the bottom right and in each of these cells in the grid so they come from different moment of time so that is an enhanced version of the original mosaic effect with touch designer okay thank you bye bye see you next time